Hey everyone, I'm back, I'm John, and I wanted to make another Wheel of Time video, uh, this time because this is something I wanted to do for a while, I wanted to make a theory video uh, about a particular aspect of the Wheel of Time, and uh, just so you know, there's going to be very light spoilers, uh, it's, this, the spoilers really only involve, involve something that's mentioned in, in the first couple chapters of the first book, so uh, read through chapter like five or six on the first book, and then uh, come back and watch this, because uh, I'll, I'll just uh, leave it there, because those that's the only bit it really spoils. Okay, so getting into this, um, one aspect about the Wheel of Time is that time is circular, circular or cyclical? Uh, anyway, history repeats. So the Third Age, the age that the uh, uh, stories take place in, uh, has been applied to have come and gone thousands of times, if not millions. It's repeated endlessly. And early on in the very first book, uh, it is very heavily implied that the time we live in now is the first age. So the timeline of the series is that it, it, we go from now to the Age of Legends, which is the second age, to the third age, uh, which is when the story takes place. Now, we don't know how we got from now to the Age of Legends. Uh, I always thought it was some sort of catastrophic event. Uh, but before we get into that, uh, we know that this is the first age uh, that we live in because Robert Jordan makes references to, among other things, Glenn, who read the, wrote it to the moon in the belly of an eagle, which is, you know, a reference to John Glenn and uh, the Apollo mission. Like, obviously, like, did different things, but, you know, it's still there. Uh, and also, one thing he does specifically mention is Merck and Mosk, who uh, fought each other with fiery lances across the sky. And then, obviously, this is reference to the Cold War, you know, Soviet Union versus America, Merck, Moscow, all that good stuff. Uh, well, not that good, but it's on this that my theory rests. See, we know that the Third Age is supposed to end with the last battle, Tarmageddon, and the Age of Legends ends with the War of, the, War of Power and the breaking of the world. And I, th I thought to myself, okay, so how do we get from... Uh, the first age where we live, which obviously we do not channel the one power in the first age, to the age of legends where everyone is channeling the one power, and uh, you know people create all this gr big grand stuff. And uh, well, my theory is that basically something catastrophic happened that caused the genetics to for channeling to reappear because in the Wheel of Time universe. Uh, a uh, very small percentage of people are able to channel. It's heavily implied to be genetic. So, what would do this? My theory basically involves the Merck and Mosk fiery lances. Uh, the way I interpret that statement is that essentially the oh, the Cold War ended hot, and nuclear Armageddon happened. And if you know anything about radiation, uh, it messes up DNA. So. The, and that's the whole crux of the theory, that uh, at some point, America and uh, the Soviet Union, or Russia, uh, they don't specifically say who, uh, this, is, um, this nuclear war happens, and then some sort of genetic flip occurs, so that people start to channel. And this leads to the Age of Legends, which eventually leads to the war happening on the, on the prison. So... That is just my theory. It's a theory that I've had for probably like 15 years now. And it's one that I just wanted to share with everyone. Uh, let me know what you think of this. I will see you next time.